So when I left off building this mod here, the uh, USB-C nickel metal hydride charger in my Game Boy Advance, I was a little bit concerned about the heat that this thing puts out, and I think I think we're going to uh, I think we're going to remedy that. We're not going to do too much about the heat itself, um, as in still going to keep generating a whole ton of heat, but I have an idea as far as mitigating that heat, and uh, I don't know, it's something I debated with, I believe, in the original video. I don't know if I actually mentioned it in the original video, um, but I want to relocate this module underneath the IR shield, or IR, um, not IR, the... Shoot. The noise? I don't know. Forgetting what, it, what the hell it's called. Electromagnetic noise shield. At least I think that's what it is. It could just literally be a plate to uh, provide more wear resistance for sliding games in and out. Either way, we're going to use it as a heat, heat sink. I feel like that's the best possible solution short of just making it charge at a uh, slower rate what is oh shoot that's stuck on the switch come on Right, so I want to take this, just put it right there. There is tape, and it is completely. It's not supposed to be that color, but okay. All right. So I might not even have to re rewire this. Really hope I don't have to rewire it. I think I'm gonna have to rewire it, of course. Oh, uh, my soldering iron just went to sleep. So we want to put this right here, give or take. Flip it over. I think that fits better that way. Oh shoot. This one's the ground, this one voltage, I believe. Yeah. It says ground right there. Okay. The question is, do we want to put it upside down or right side up? How do we want to orient it? Actually fits best just like that, I think.
and then we can sink heat through the back. Yeah, that'll be good. This was just the convenient ground that I was using. I'll probably swap over to using the uh, link port. But while I'm in here, there's one more mod I want to do. The because uh, once that goes under the cart shield, it's going to be pretty hard to see the LED. So let's do something about that. I'm going to use one of these. Oh look, Shocker Mako's using a pink LED. He's never used one of those before. Shut up, I have a ton of them. I would use green or red. Red for charging, because the original one is red, I believe. Uh, or green, because it looks it, it'll go with the uh, color scheme I have here. But I don't think. Well, I could do white. What about white. Let's do white. So if I do white, then I can use an even bigger LED, which I have even more of. I think these are white. I'll find out shortly. So like usual, we can use the diode test function on a multimeter to test this diode and see that it is indeed white. The question is, where do we want to put this white diode? Flip this over. We can rotate it. There's not enough slack on this wire. Here we go. So the intention was I was thinking I'd put it right here, right next to these two diodes that are already there. But uh, I'd have to put it literally right next to him. Because I can't fit a third diode under that. Sorry, framing. You can see the LEDs literally fit inside that thing. Uh, so, plan the second. We're going to put it in a shoulder button. I don't know which one. We're going to put it in R, because that seems like it should be easier. Uh, okay. 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 Alright, 
definitely should have put the soldering iron down for this step. This is one of the benefits of using a larger LED. You can solder straight to it. What would work even better is if you used a through hole LED. You know, the ones with the pins on them. You can solder straight to the pins. So I'm thinking just a ball of solder, encase it in that. Solder, not solder, holy shit, um, hot glue. Do I have red kind of? Uh, uh, uh. No, I don't. But, I have some very nice. Uh, okay, I'll use white. linked and let's just double check that it still works while waiting for my glue gun to heat up Check it if the ends aren't stwit. Ta da, still works. And I got the polarity right. Let's see, that's ready. So the intention is to drop just a blob of hot glue in there. Bigger than that. And then embed this thing in there. I kind of hate using hot glue for mods, but I feel like this is the basically the only way to do this. Oh, I also definitely should angle it. I didn't even 
thinking about that. Nope, doesn't matter now. not supposed to drip and then it drips anyway. Oh, I got glue on me. These aren't the best buttons, but I'd rather like to keep them feeling fine. Alright. That doesn't look great. It's okay. One more test before moving on. Eh, still works. It's not really bright enough to see anything but we're going to be replacing this LED right here which is the other way around Well, that LED is in a ball of solder now. Whoops. Oh, and I'm so glad I didn't just try and touch that with my finger because that's still molten. <laughs> All right, moving on. I have to look up the data sheet again, but I'm pretty sure we can swap out one of these resistors too if we wanted to change the charge rate or just the brightness of this LED. Alright, are you done yet? Yes. Alright, well I guess I'm going to screw this back down because we don't need to do anything on the front. Um... the heck did I do with the screws? I'll be right back. Never mind, I found them. They were uh, perilously close to the edge of my desk for whatever god-awful reason. Yet somehow I didn't knock them off. Right. 
Oh, shoot. I'm gonna have to get new longer wires. Let's do that first. I suppose I could just wire that into a system ground. That would, uh, no, never mind. Because, oh, but wait. That's connected, isn't it? It's just common ground. Yeah. Well, then why not? I could just wire that over to that capacitor. That's the closest thing. same wire I used last time. We're gonna go up on this side. Just start a project going, oh yeah, this will take me, you know, 10 minutes. Be nice and quick. And then 25 minutes into it, you're like halfway done. You go, uh, that was not nice and quick. I also just realized I can't cut straight across the battery compartment. So these might not even be long enough. I mean, fuck it, I'm gonna go for it anyway, but... Pretty sure that's not how that works. Eh, maybe it'll be fine. Can't really test this, though. Hmm...
There we go. I hate this wire. It's thick enough to make the shit just like bounce around. should make that shorter. I think I'll just wrap it around these capacitors and pick up the slack that way. I'm going to put a little bit of cap done on the corner of that electromag filter. Just to ensure it doesn't short on anything. Closer over here that makes even more sense. Okay. We just have one more one more wire. Have to actually hook this up to the system ground. Or it won't charge proper. I soldered earlier.
Hmm. I suppose I could just route it down to the battery plug. It makes more sense. Oh, but it just barely doesn't fit. Alright, well that's not happening then. Just gonna use the shoulder button again. Sorry, I think I I did this whole video just barely out of frame. I should double check that that's a ground. I am like certain enough that I'm not going to test it, but still somewhat concerned. Okay. We're almost ready to put it back together. Just one more part. Alright, the reason for this whole thing, thermal pad, I'm just going to cut off a big chunk, slap that on the back, slap that on the back, we'll be good, just you watch, that's not big enough, that's big enough. Big old thermal pad. And if nothing else, it will at least give me a give me more thermal mass. Not necessarily a heat sink, but more mass. I don't know. Should be fine. back together and try it out, yeah? Yeah, it was definitely much easier the other way. Assuming nothing went horribly wrong, this should be significantly better, though. little type, but that's what I expected.
Now, I should hope that this was uh, self-explanatory, but in the off chance it's not, if you're putting a nickel metal hydride battery charger in your Game Boy Advance, you can only charge nickel metal hydride batteries. If you try to charge anything else, terrible things will happen. Cannot charge lithium, you especially cannot charge alkaline batteries, the nickel metal hydride charger. Contrary to what some people might say, that sort of trick only works once, only because you're lucky. Does here. Game Boy still works, as expected. Both my shoulder buttons are fine. Putting that LED didn't affect this at all. It has to be off for charging. And, uh... Oh, do I have... Oh, I do, I do! So we want to take the game out, otherwise that kind of defeats the purpose. Plug that in. You can see my shoulder button's glowing. That means it's charging. It's pulling 600 milliamps. And if I stick my thingy in there, I can feel it getting warm, I think. I don't know. It's hard to tell. It's hard to get my thingy in there. But I'm pretty confident saying that this will be better than uh, before. I'm going to leave it charge and I'll go ahead and update the description, but until then, thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Have a fantastic night. What do you think of Mako soldering? Who the fuck is Mako? M-A-H-K-O? Never heard of him. Or her.